super down. No verdict, I guess. Went down, down. There we go. Are we back? <clears throat> sure. There we go. Have we Hi. returned? I, I can be heard now. Seventeen point five. Liam's internet's ass. I can't believe that happened like exactly then. Oh, you, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'd rather that have happened then, except uh, as opposed to like, like two minutes ago, you know? So listen, if you're watching on YouTube, you're welcome for that cliffhanger. That was planned. Oh my god. <laughs> it was 100% <laughs> yes, intentional. Totally yes, you honor. <clears throat> the bus continues forward. We gotta. Yep, we gotta. There's no leaving it here. You are innocent. You are innocent. Fun Karma's final crime is killing Liam's stream. <laughs> what, what? As you said, it was all a nightmare. I curse you be from behind, from beyond the bars. Bunk. You yes, you were on it. Bunk. <laughs> the court finds the defendant, Miles Edgeworth! Not guilty. Guilty. <laughs> After all that, the judge still says guilty, and we're all like, wait, what? <laughs> that is all court is adjourned! I'm not explaining it any further! Goodbye, it's everyone! Like... I'm going on vacation! <laughs> I'm gonna go you bye! I'm gonna go make <laughs> stickers or whatever now! Bye! <laughs> What the heck is was this case? <laughs> <laughs> I had all the Snickers from the vending machine. December 28th, 5.38 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Nick! Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. <laughs> He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed! They just they just have people like escorting him out and he's literally turning to dust. <clears throat> he's literally just crumbling to pieces like marble. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. I know. I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. Soon there are ellipses. <clears throat> it's not like I wanted you to help me work through my childhood <laughs> trauma or anything, Baka. It's not like I wanted you to stop me from going to jail. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. <clears throat> Wait. Yeah? Ellipsis. I... I'm not sure how to say this. <laughs> Tsundere intensifies. <laughs> I know, I know. Try thank you. Smug Maya is great. Mm -hmm. I would have been a detective lawyer when I grew up with. <clears throat> I... I see. No, it's... Thank you! Thank, thank you, right? Baka. Even better. You're welcome. <laughs> I think you could have done better.
better than that. <sighs> Be sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. She's got you there. <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's just the it's just the Wario video. Yeah. It's like the the horrible modulated <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Post that video at some point. Mm -hmm. Amazing, pal! You two pulled through just like I thought you would! <laughs> Forget this, I owe you one, pal! Tonight, dinner's on me! You sure? Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. <laughs> yeah! See, Mr. Edgeworth? You should take a lesson from Detective Gunshu. <laughs> That's how do you say thank you. No, it's not I see, it's thank you. Ellipsis. I feel foolish. <laughs> Buddy. Well, that's about right. You finally feel like the clown you've always been. Don't worry, take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Okay, hello there. <laughs> Howdy. Hi, y'all. Hi, a lot of heart. You forgot about me, didn't you? I forgot a heart. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, Ed Edgeworth, congrats! Pretty slick that you didn't off your paw, huh? Thank you all very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you were innocent from the start, of course. <laughs> you, you wouldn't stick your head in a cookie jar even if no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? I can't believe. They got bygones, eh? I can't. Begonias be begonias, yeah. I cannot believe this is the same trial from with Lotta Heart. Uh -huh. I forgot that this was the same trial. This game yep. is very long. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Well, the park ranger came with a shotgun and a couple dogs. Ah, uh, who may I? Back to college. <laughs> I had a skedaddle, a skedaddle on out of there. <laughs> I had a skedaddle skedoodler. That man was going to turn me into a perforate noodle. <laughs> I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. <laughs> 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 
really? That's too bad. In investigative photographers are pretty cool. <laughs> Question mark? But, well, wait, it, huh? Oh, great, oh, great, okay. Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Huh? Uh, yo, Nick! Yo, yo Nick! Oh, no, oh, no, it's oh, over, no! Nick. My life is over! But, why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? It's Keyonce! Oh, Nick, I'm not long for this world. Uh, I, I, again, Larry, just looking like he's got to take a real big dump at any given time. You, you don't look uh -huh. sick. You look like you got to take a dump real bad. <laughs> for some people, that's still sick, Nick. It's Keontae. She She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. <laughs> oh, no, Larry. <clears throat> she's leaving me behind. Should have seen uh, that coming. Holy oh, no, Nick. Yo, Edgy, there you are! <laughs> well, say what you want about Larry Butts, but he bounces back pretty quick. Um, yes, here I am. Hello, it is me, Miles Edgeworth, in the flesh. Yo, congrats, Edgy! Here's a little gift from me in celebration! It's, it's, it's an envelope, but in the side of there is just a chili dog. <laughs> it's a bill. <laughs> Celebration? That's unusual for you. Oh, they do say it. Harry Butts, you come along tonight too. <laughs> my treat, pal. Man, it's just. Every Where's the judge? Let me do everybody at once. Oh my oh. gosh. Let me just do everybody. <laughs> hey, get Salmonella in here. <laughs> Larry comes up and, <laughs> and Chris is like, "Oh look, it's the only straight person in this whole game." Not according to Keonse. <laughs> Uh, huh. uh, thanks, looking forward to it. Unless you meant Lana, but I think you meant Larry. <laughs> I don't know, yo, who knows? Yo, 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 Nick. That's the suit who, that questioned me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. <clears throat> Wait. Yeah? What's up? I meant Larry Lotto's pan. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Bunk. That envelope Larry gave me, it's got money in it. Well, yeah. That's not strange. <laughs> That's not that strange. People give money away it's to celebrate sometimes. It's um, $38. Oh my gosh, it's thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> it's 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 thirty-eight dollars and zero cents, right? Huh, what a weird amount. I mean it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Thirty-eight dollars exactly. Th thirty eight dollars exactly. <laughs> Wasn't that exactly an amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? No. Thirty-eight dollars. No. No, Larry, it was you. <laughs> I I want I, I want the like. Da -da 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 -da. I want that music to start playing. What are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Fred asks, um, how is $38 lunch? Uh, well, you can pay, like, in months, months in advance. You know, like, you know, if it's $1.25 a day, here's $50 for my student to use. Whatever. Right, yeah. And then they just As take it out of that. As opposed to giving them like... $1.25 a day or whatever. Yeah. Larry was absent from school that day, right? <laughs> was he eating the dollars? Yeah, it's a salad. Mmm. He now is a suspect. What?
think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. history, huh? Ellipsis of disbelief. Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspect you. I couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. <laughs> Fred says, ever since, Larry has been hopping jobs trying to pay, repay the $38. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> everyone, everyone else was saying that you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah! Too well. <clears throat> Chris says, I'm out! Right, you you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. <laughs> when something smells, it's usually but I know, I know. Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. <clears throat> well, this sure is an unexpected turn of events, huh? Edgeworth. Huh? Yeah. You should have told me! <clears throat> Well, you should have been. Great comeback. Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. <laughs> Don't you think the statute. Of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth. No, it's still good until midnight. <clears throat> I'd say so, yes. <laughs> there you have. Uh, where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Been something of an uh, nope. Well, you have <laughs> always been something of an insufferable emotionalist. Yeah, and Larry isn't, I guess. Nick, anyway, let me tell you more about Kianza. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily too. D -d death, the death sentence for the both of you. Man, if only I'd known, I'd become a prosecutor. The same goes to me, only the other way around. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, give me your manicotti or whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you, you this cookie. For the longest time, I thought I might have killed my own father. I'll trade. I'll trade this cookie for your for your croissant. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I might be a criminal. 
We don't talk about the nugget in this incident of 97. God. I became a prosecutor in part <laughs> to punish myself. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth, you idiot. <clears throat> Wanna switch, right? Here, take the fucking ascot layer or whatever. Let me fix the switch. Oh, listen up, line up, I'll take a photo. <laughs> Look at that, the photographer's on it. I wonder if they're investigative. <laughs> hey, photo time, let's go! <laughs> To there, dinner's on me! Because we have to remember that Gumshoe was here too! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Even though Edgeworth himself was still in detention. December 29th, 5.02 a.m., right in Law offices. Brad says you have to trigger the photo by making a loud noise and everyone's like <gasps> <clears throat> Whoa! Uh, I went a little overboard yesterday. Too many burgers. My head hurts. Huh? It's still only five o'clock. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Hmm? What's this? A letter? Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you. It made me think about what I'm doing here. Chris says Maya's planning a murder. <laughs> After seeing Von Karma's attempt at a perfect crime, I think I might know how to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye? What time is it? I don't believe for one second that I could get rid of Maya if I tried. G -g -g the first trains for the mountains have already left! To the station! I guess I'm too late. Huh! Nick! 
Maya! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And... I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. But wait! What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. sister? Yes. Only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossbert, excuse me, and even Larry. <laughs> couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the only one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything! was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Do you know what it is? It was when she... She grabbed the thing from Von Karma when... Evidence? <sighs> well... Is it the badge? No. Okay, I was gonna say, cause like, our first case was helping out Maya. No. Um... It wasn't, also. Oh no, you're right. Right, yeah. What well, was the thing that she grabbed from Bon Karma? Was it the bullet? Bullet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Take that! Take that! She will eat the badge, says a bread. A bullet? Von Karma was convicted he was I'm sorry. <laughs> Von Karma was convinced he had taken all of the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. That's out of context, <laughs> that sounds very <laughs> And you were the one who gave it to me! Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? Complete my training and come back. 
Okay. I'll be waiting. <laughs> of course you will! You can't run that office by yourself! You're hopeless! Uh, I don't know about that. So, this is it. See you soon, Maya. Oh. <laughs> And so my oh, sorry. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page and say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Oh no. Okay, lines coming up, they're autoplaying. I don't think you graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's the credits. Okay, so, um... Oh, I'm sorry, more lines. Gumshoe's up next. Well... Oh, hey, heck. pal, Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Woo, Detective Gumshoe. Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Uh, kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Uh, strange, huh? I guess we just kind of got to be on our toes for these. Okay. Larry's up. Oh. <laughs> Nick? Nah, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working at a cheese shop. That's Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you'd call a cheap date, huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Larry. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, right. Yeah, I, re I remember him. I, I, I hear he's been busy lately. Uh, you know, not to ring my own bell, but I, I sort of taught him everything he knows. <laughs> I'm sure he's grateful. <laughs> sure, Payne. <laughs> Panini! We missed him. We yeah. love him. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Oh my gosh, it's the bellboy. I don't even remember who did him. That's <laughs> me! Did. Oh gosh, okay. Cory did? Yeah. Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management of the Gilwater Re Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. <laughs> it's Grossberg. <laughs> Get ready, Sean. Right. Uh, how it's you? The Phoenix Wright? Yes, me as understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him wait. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Old bag! Oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> oh, be ready, Corey, be ready. An actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a, na with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they're finally putting in a TV universe? <laughs> 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 How are we supposed to keep up with anything anyway? Will Powers! Uh, oh, I gotta find this voice again. Uh, I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, I'm keeping my face out of the public eye till the show is new. I wouldn't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know? Oh no, I love Thanks Will Powers. Powers. Very, very cool. <laughs> what a great guy. He's so good. Penny's up. Who? Oh, okay. Penny. Oh, uh, oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but I didn't have time, so I sent her some Pink Princess trading cards. She says she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> 
Paul Kummer is hiding Phoenix's body since the scar on his record. Cody Hackens. I don't remember who had Cody. I don't Thank remember. You. It was me? Oh, heck. Uh, yeah. but, but you know, I, I snuck into the studio the other day, and I saw her. The, the one inside the pink princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It was kind of a shock for my the boy of my tender age. Oh, gosh, <laughs> Cody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't catch the first like two lines. Yeah, they're very fast. Mm -hmm. A lot of heart. <clears throat> Remember right? The lawyer guy. Huh, me? I'm in the training to become a paranormal photographer. A paranormal? You know, the picture that I took everyone, well just behind them there's a ghost. For real. <gasps> now that's a talent. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> There's a ghost. <laughs> the fucking rogues gallery that we're going through. Oh, I know, please it's just rapid. Give oh me my Manila. gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! There was a ghost! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! That's so cute. Hold it, okay! okay. Uh, a brand new episode has been added. What? Yeah. What? For context, that that was supposed to be the end of the game, uh -huh. but they added this one into the the trilogy and the remakes and stuff. So we have one more to go through. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. <laughs> it has one of my favorite Ace Attorney characters in it. So do I we want to do we want to so start this as a uh, cliffhanger? I don't know how late we're trying to go tonight, total, but I have as much time as you guys have. I'm uh, good to start it if yeah. you want to, Sean. No, yeah, I'm cool with that. I can probably go to like nine fifteen. Sweet. Ooh. All right. I, I, I have honestly a question. can 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 I pee break real quick? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Yes. Oh shit! One of us can only tell the truth. The other one can only tell. The truth. <laughs> He's the liar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I I so I was confused because you had said that there was like one more, but like if you told me about it, mm -hmm. it would be spoilers. And now I get it. But at the time, mm -hmm. I thought I was like trying to figure it out. I was like, wait, I thought there was one more. And and then I thought like, oh, the mm -hmm. one more was like the solving of the DL six within the solving of the <laughs> the, the Edwards case. Um, but I guess not. I, I double guess the, checked you. You yeah, you pulled a fast one on me. I double checked you. <laughs> you got away with the perfect crime. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great. <laughs> I know, and it like wraps up so well, and then all of a sudden, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yep. Right. Is that the is that the like police the doll that was in the police station? Uh huh. I knew there was something shady about that That's doll. The blue badger. I knew something was cursed about that doll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Liam. You get to blow up on the microphone. What? You get to blow on the microphone. What do you mean? <laughs> like... Like... Like in... You're gonna actually have to go... <laughs> okay! As though I had a Nintendo <laughs> DS? Like in the DS games. Yeah, because like the remakes first came out on the Nintendo DS. Uh... And so because they wanted to like play with the features on the DS, they're like, hmm, let's add this uh, fifth trial um, and like sprinkle in new mechanics. And then they did that for the rest of the game. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I... I think that this mechanic continues. There's got to um, be a way that like that they've ported it, right? Like, I don't know if it'll work yeah. with like actual microphone. Um, it might oh, just be like you're right. It might I just, don't know. It might just be like a click thing. Uh -oh. Cause we had cause we had that Maybe. issue in um. It was funny when we were playing um uh, platinum. We went into the underground and we stepped on like uh -huh. one of those traps 
where it like mm -hmm. brings up the little fire where normally you're supposed to blow into the DS microphone, but mm -hmm. you know, because we're playing it on the, you know, Game Boy Advance SP3 computer edition or whatever, um, uh, there was no, like blowing in the microphone didn't do it. So we had to like, yeah. I forget how we ended up actually doing it, but I think there was like a mode that we did with the, uh, with the, um, the There was like a or... button that we like could turn yeah, on or whatever. Yeah. I ended up having to do like some Googling mm -hmm. of some sort. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you probably won't be able to blow on the microphone for this one, um, mm -hmm. though it is an official port, so maybe. Yeah, we'll maybe. see how they end up handling it. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys ready to dive in? <laughs> Bonus yeah, episode? Hell yeah. Alright. Hell oh. yeah! Yeah, save our progress, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buildings. Lightning. Rain. Cityscape in a thunderstorm. Oh, heck. Hey, Tom. Tom. Hey, Tom's here. What's up, Tom? You're catching us kind of at the end here, but uh, nothing wrong with that. Good to see you. Two simultaneous... Instances. Oh god. Okay. It's the blue badger. It's been two months since Maya left the office. His voice is not different. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just been sitting eating ice cream uh, with his fist. He's very sad that Maya's gone. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22nd, 10.02 a.m. Right in Cole Law Offices. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Oh, heck. Cory who? Holmst. Me. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is who I think it is. So I call her because Maya's gone. <clears throat> Fair enough. There you are, finally. Oh, heck. Am I right? I am. Where have you been? What do you mean? Or should I value girl her? <laughs> oh gosh. I kind of want to value girl her. <laughs> My sister's trial is tomorrow. Bewildered ellipsis. Times two. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. <laughs> oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey no longer works here. <laughs> so you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Law office, what do you want? <laughs> Coffee boy. Right, right. Wait! You're 
the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? <laughs> um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then! You're better than nobody! Uh, and, and you're a, a very excited pharmacist? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But... You are Phoenix Wright, right? <laughs> The undefeated defense attorney? That is right, my record is perf- <coughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> that's right, my record's perfect. <laughs> Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. And he's just like, what was that? What did I just say? <laughs> he goes to look in the mirror, he's just like, my hair is still not white, okay. I'm not, okay, all right. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please, I'm out of time. No, but Bob Grossberg. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He only helps family and friends, and even then, only barely. <laughs> Otherwise, he just Please. Eats... stares longingly at the white spot on his wall. I just imagine that, like Grossberg, <laughs> comes into his office. He like sits at his desk, like. <clears throat> And then he like twiddles his thumbs until like <laughs> until like two thirty, and then he pulls out a sandwich and eats it, and then goes back to twiddling his thumbs, and then he goes home. <laughs> 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 and then someone shows up, and they're just like, "Sir, I need help," and he goes, well, "I'm booked full. I'm very busy today." <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Please. You have to help. It's my sister. You've... Exclamation mark. Maya. Could it be? Okay. I'll hear you out. It's funny the visual and thematic um, parallels mm -hmm. between these sisters and those sisters. Mm, I see. R really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. I can tell by your potions. In training. Mm. Uh, scientific in in <laughs> investigator. <laughs> Scientific? Scientific investigator. Scientific. <laughs> Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator. Um No, I'm a scientific investigator. Is something wrong? No, it's just, you seem kind of, uh, jumpy. Or m maybe just young? Mm. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be the, for the I'm set to be formally assigned to the forensic in three more years. Here, the valley girl isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You did fine so far. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Um. So, what exactly is your current position then?
Well, legally speaking... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. Great. But I'm ready to do my job. At my age, no less. Great. Another future professional in training. So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it! I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Talk to her! You have to talk to her! Tom says, but would she stab someone with a fork? Perhaps. <laughs> right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring me a fay, but... That's interesting. How would she know? Mia. So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Uh, excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Um, yes you are. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigation should be done scientifically. So do I. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't help. The sure can't fault her for a lack of enthusiasm. Handled scientifically. I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. Redefining the scientific method, at this age no less. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. for Mia specifically. This Mia Fay person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? <clears throat> she always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, 
I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Question mark? Hmm. Well... Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But... But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? Oh my fucking god, they fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> they died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so I know Sean has about 15 more minutes, but I have to go to the bathroom really badly, and uh, I'm not gonna go and then come back for another like 30 seconds. So um, I think today, this is a pretty good chance for us to wrap up. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. This was an. Awesome stream. I had a blast. I always do whenever we play oh. this game. Um, it's a ride every time. Go bug Justin. Yeah, we're going to raid okay. Justin. We're going to do it quickly because uh, I got to get to the bathroom. Oh, he's going to go <laughs> like now. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Jump on in. Uh, once we got everybody in, I'll hit the uh, raid button and we'll go. Good night. And uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Probably just for one more case. Ooh, drink water. Uh, drink water. Okay, I'll do that after. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.